Hey YouTube, what's happening? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update on Litecoin. Right now we're getting a nice little bounce off that 50-day moving average. We're up 10.91%. We're at 132.50. Things are looking pretty good right now, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some key support and resistance levels that we're looking at. We're back up in that trend line in green that we've been paying attention to. That's what we were hoping we could get back up in there. Now, guys, what we need today is a close back up above that trend line and a close up above that 20 EMA. That would be a great sign that we potentially can go up there and challenge that $146 then eventually get up there around that $178 so we're gonna get into all this stuff if you like these videos like subscribe hit that notification bell you guys if you hit that notification bell anytime I have an update like this it will come directly to you and a lot of things I basically do like right now I will be releasing it just a few minutes after I get done with this so it's something that's gonna be pretty up-to-date for you so the notification bell will really help you all right, so let's get into this. So typically, when I start out charting, guys, I wanted to show this to you. I start zoomed out. So we're looking at this big picture. When we had the tweezer tops up here at around $180, and we just continued to fall. And what happened was we started to put in this rounded bottom right here. And we've just been making those beautiful higher highs and higher lows coming up. And what you always want to do is look at these key resistance and support areas. As you can see, this was a key resistance area around that 176.58 right over here and we ended up wicking up to it. And then we actually fell down and we had this nice sell off. And this was a beautiful, it was a healthy retracement guys. I was very happy to see that it came in. But the thing that I'm most happy about is that we got a nice clean bounce off that 50 day moving average right here. Typically when you'll have a candle close below this trend line that's been significant here for quite a while, that can be a sign guys that you can start getting pushed even farther to the downside. But what was nice is we didn't ha just have a straight shot up. We were making higher highs and higher lows. So we had a lot of support here to the downside as well as this 50 moving average and then this 100 day moving average. But right now we still we need to see if we can close up above this orange 20 EMA and back in this trend line guys that's going to be very important so if all of a sudden today you see a close and we're way down here and there's a really long wick that may be a bad sign that we could start to roll over to the downside because what we were talking about yesterday we were talking about a potential bearish or I'm sorry, bullish Harami pattern or Harami pattern off this 50-day moving average with a stochastic cross. Those are the things that you're looking for. And then today would be that confirmation depending upon where we close this candle. That's going to be very important, guys, where this candle closes today. And what I also like to do is work through the time frame. So this is on the one day. Next, we'll look at the 12 hour and we'll kind of assess things and see how they're looking. So right here, we had a bullish engulfing candle off the 100 moving average here on the 12 hour you see that we got pushed to the upside and now same thing we're looking to see if we can close up above that 20 EMA right there and that's the way that you want to play these guys and look for these stochastic crosses as well on the stock right now we're at 51 and 33 so there's still plenty of room to run to the upside if we want to next one we're going to be in on the 8 hour Take a look at this. So here's our cross, guys, right here off this doji candle. And this was after we fell down through that trend line, broke back up. We're up above the 100. We're up above the 20. And now we're trying to close back up above the 50 moving average. And you can see we have that cross, and we're still moving up. So things are looking good in the short term there. Then we'll go to the 4-hour. You all know I like to do a lot of trading on the 4-hour. So 4-hour, we're coming up to some resistance. Resistance is going to be around that 137, 36. I like to go off the real bodies there. You can see a little bit of profit taking taking place here around that 50 moving average in green. Or I'm sorry, the 100 moving average in green. And then our 50 is in blue here. So we're up above the blue. We're slightly below the 100 day moving average. Our stochastics at 99 and 90. So we are in overbought territory right now. So you could expect some type of potential retracement, maybe back down to this 200 moving average. See if we can get a bounce off that, but we're gonna have to see if we can get up here and challenge around that 137. Okay, so that's how I work through the time frames, guys. That's what I like to do. And then you can start picking out wave counts and different things like that, but it's very helpful. And remember, whenever you have these trend line breaks to the downside, like we're talking about, you have three options here. So you can break and you can just continue to fall straight down. So that's one option. The other option is that you can break down 
like we had here and then you can actually pull back onto this trend line and then fail again and fall farther or you can get back up inside it and that's what we're seeing happen today so that's why that candle close is going to be so very important we want good bullish follow-through and that's what we're looking at right now we do want a little bit more volume as the day continues to come on but right now we're up that 11.07 percent so that is a good thing next thing i wanted to point out was our bollinger bands and Bollinger Bands are great for just showing how overextended to either the upside or the downside that you are. And right here, do you see we are actually extended to the downside. We are outside of this bottom band. I know these are hard to see, guys. I apologize. But this bottom band was around $119, and we actually wicked below it. And with that 50-day moving average there, that was the spot to make that buy. It happened on large volume as well, this sell-off, so that could be another sign that that was the end of that, and we're going to have to see if we can come up here and start making those higher highs and higher lows, guys. That's what's going to be important. Next, I wanted to point out our Fibonacci. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm not going to take it all the way from our swing low to our swing high down in here. So from here to here, we've done that before. What I want to do is actually take this move at the start of this bullish engulfing candle, this short-term downtrend or correction, right there when that trend changed and we broke out through there that's what I want to measure right here and I just want to see what type of retracement that we've had it's right up in there and guys this is why you don't FOMO when you're seeing these things price going up and your RSI going down you know you don't want to jump into things there's always going to be a retracement and that's what a lot of new people in this don't understand that you're not going to miss out you know what I mean? There's always going to be another opportunity or there could be another opportunity on another coin. But if I can teach you one thing, the thing you don't want to do is FOMO. We've been there before. You don't want to be buying up here, guys. You know, at $142, all of a sudden you look down and it's $108. You know, that's a bad day. So we want to try to prevent that stuff as much as we can by being safe and having stop losses, all that different type of stuff in place. So we drop down here past the 0 0.382, which is a good healthy correction typically here, guys. But then we came back up the next day and we closed up above it. Coming back up here, it would be nice if we could close up above that 0 0.236 again. And that's going to be at around that 127.19. So this was a good healthy retracement. I mean, we went back to that 0 0.382, which is typical. A lot of times we can even hit that 0 0.5 or that 0 0.618, which would have been down around that 96.25. So you know, we're just going to have to pay attention to this. But the main thing that I can tell you today is pay very close attention to this trend line still, guys, okay? It's going to be very important. We want that candle close up above that. And the next one is our RSI, our Relative Strength Index. We're going to take a peek at this real quick. And with our RSI, guys, we're back at 55, so that's good. We have a nice V-shaped bottom there. So that is a good thing. It's a sharp reversal that we're seeing, and it is even a higher low than where we had down in here. So that's a good thing, and that's where we got that bounce off of. So we're looking at that, guys. We're going to see if we can continuously have more room to run. And what you want to do, same deal with the RSI, work through the time frames. Go to the 12-hour. See that? Then the 8, and you can just kind of see how that relative strength's looking as you continue to work through the time frames. Then there's the 8. I apologize, guys. My computer or internet's running a little bit slower today. We got a little bit of a storm out there going on. So, you know, this is the area that you want to look. And on the 8 hour, you can start drawing things like this. So you can start putting these trend lines on and seeing if you get a trend line break up out of here, which would be a good thing. See if we can go up and challenge that 146. But always pay attention to that relative strength. It can be very important for you guys. Okay, so that's what I wanted to bring to you today. If you like these videos, guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, pay attention to that trend line. And this was the bounce that we were talking about last night. It was on LTC, BTC. I do believe that I was talking to you guys about potentially having some type of little bounce or reaction because on LTC, BTC, what happened was we fell so hard, so fast, and so aggressive that when you fall 40%, basically in the matter of a month or less, you will typically have some type of reaction. And you know what, guys, for the people who are still here, let's go into that real quick just to show you. Well, I got a second here. So let's go to LTC, BTC. And I'll show you exactly what I was talking about last night because it actually started playing out. Do you see this right down here? Here's what we were looking at yesterday, that green line. We're looking at oversold conditions, and we ended up getting that nice atom-shaped or V-bottom 
right there and now what we want to see is where this candle will close today and see if we can put in that nice bullish engulfing candle and maybe come back up here and test or challenge that 200 day moving average because guys that's a tough one we broke right through that very easily so a lot of times you will at least come back and test that again and we'll see if we can get back up inside this yellow trend line or if we're just going to see some rejection start falling even farther to the downside but this was the bounce we were looking at take a look at that 18 20 percent right now so if you jumped in last night where we were talking about this this probably would have been a heck of a gain for you here but it was due to the different signs and things that we were seeing and that's the importance of technical analysis guys it can really help you and you know just really learn this stuff the best that you can for yourself so Hope you all like these videos. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Pay attention to trend line breaks. They're very important. You can even see a little trend line break that you have down there on the RSI. There's lots of different things that you can look for. So I wanted to bring this to you all. I hope you got in there, and this is looking pretty good. But be safe up in this area. We'll see if we start to have some sell-off there or not. Take care, my friends. God bless.